Okay, so what we're gonna do is do some little pieces of art. So I got these, these are just index cards that I got off of Amazon. There are, you wanna have at least card stock just so it'll hold up on the paint. And we usually paint with these three colors. You can use any art supplies you want, but these are the golden acrylics and they'll be in the description. These I think you can mix any color with. And then we might do a collage piece, but you can slap your little finished piece into slapping. a frame. Oh, to give somebody Here, yeah. to put on their bookshelf. Done. So okay, nice. so for starters, you want to have your surface covered for your art party, especially if you're using it on a wood table. Um, I just put down these big pieces of cardboard. It's a little messy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Love it, and messy. And it's if you're working with kids, it's a good idea. You can use wax paper, you can use butcher paper, but just put something down so that you feel comfortable making a mess. And then you have a palette. I use these palette pads, but you can use a magazine, a glossy magazine works, a plate works, um, a piece of glass. And for preparation, I just put a little bit. You wanna use this? Oh yes, yes. That's red. That's our, gonna be our red. Yeah. It's really quinacridone magenta. A little blurb of yellow. And then the blue. The blue is super potent. Heads up, oh sorry. There we go. The and then we've got That's brushes. Yellow. That's yellow. And a water jar. And I like to keep a pack of baby wipes somewhere in the near vicinity. Um, also, you can use painter's tape or artist tape to kind of hold it down. But if you put it evenly around, you can give your piece a nice little border. So that's an option. But the reason I want you to do multiple paintings is because it'll get you relaxed and not so stressed out. Like if you have one big canvas, people tend to be more like, want it to be good. So do you feel more relaxed having multiple? I love multiple pieces. <laughs> so if you want to use, if you want to do, um, that. let's like try to do, let's start with three. So you have three pieces of paper out there. Pick a brush, Craig. Oh, and I'm going to put some white. Put the difference between brush. the tubs is just the container. But I use, I tend to use more white, so I like to use that in the tub. There you go, Pilar. Thank you. Let me pass the uh, tape. Yeah. Because I yeah. have three pieces. But you don't have to tape them down. Right. right. I'm no. just going to tape one. Here's another roll of tape. Oh, thank you. Okay, so for the first one, for sort of our warm up. If everybody at home is ready, you got your your mixing area, you got your water, you got your paper. Okay, so first I want you to do, pick your favorite color. We're going to do a monochromatic little abstract. Okay. Monochromatic, okay. So, you don't have, or if you want to give this painting to somebody, pick their favorite color. Oh, yeah. And, you and don't these have are to the tell. three colors? Well, we're mixing. No, if, just tell me what your favorite color is. Okay. Or what color you want to use for your, your first series of three. Red. Powder blue. Okay. So I want you using all three colors to make as, you want Craig, you to make as many blues as you can. Okay. So start with the blue and always add some proportion of the other two and white and just make as many different blues as you can. And every time you make a new blue, I want you to put a little bit on each piece of paper. Okay. And don't paint anything recognizable. I'm good at that. So just shape and line, <laughs> like not even a perfect circle because you can name it. But with every color, see if you can use all a little bit of all three. And Pilar, you're gonna do the same thing. Make as many different reds, dark red, blood red, ketchup, and go all the different. I should put this in the water now, right? Before I um, mix it with the, another color? No, you can you can just, mix it. You can go to town. Yeah, it, that's your palette, and you can do it. Wow. That is an interesting and good question. But when you make a blue, I just want you to make sure you have a little bit of the other two. You know what I mean? Just put a dot of yellow and a dot of the red. Okay. Because that keeps it from being overly bright. So, you know, like if a kid paints with a pack of crayons, and it looks like, like that rainbow flag, and it's overly bright. I love that flag. I love that flag too, but I'm saying this is not turning red. This is turning black. So but that's okay. Use use a little of that on your piece. Okay. Just every time you make a different color, put a little bit 
on your paper. So this is our mixing palette, right? Mixing page? Mm-hmm. Okay. What so a great blue. Putting, That's a great Already color. start putting something on the paper? Yes, so it's sort of like a high-speed round. We're just gonna try to paint three paintings as fast as we can. Well, I'm a fast painter. Well, and also it kind of loosens you up because... Oh, it's because I haven't been using white either. Throw some white in there and see what kind of red you got. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is fun. Um, I'm, I'm going to get a palette and paint along with you. So also, you can do this with little little kids, and they just make amazing masks. So I just gave him a Sharpie. My son did this, and my mom loves it. And you can use watercolors. You can use markers. My daughter did this one. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. And then, you know, dads are kind of hard to buy for. So are Nana's. They already have everything. You wrap it up. This will be their favorite present they've ever gotten. Give the kid just a Sharpie and tell him to draw a picture. So I ordered these After you said that. on Amazon. And these are just index cards. You can also use watercolor paper. You can use Bristol paper. I like it to be cardstock so it doesn't buckle. Are we watering? Are we water oh, water that's your water? Yeah, but the water is just if you want the brush Craig to be perfectly clean, but oh. if you if you just keep mixing the colors. Okay. Here's the deal. I look at all the different blues you're already making. Um, I make like a fire engine red. Oh my okay, god. Okay, then start with just, just look magenta and the yellow. But look, already fabulous colors. Love it. Do all do all three. I don't think so she likes keep, mine. Like work on all three at the same time. Well, yours oh. is taped down, and you just laid a brush down. Beep. Oh, I can't. I gotta you gotta stick it. it in the water. Stick it. Stick it. Stick Wick it. it. Don't pick it. Wait. Okay, and let me know if you need any more supplies. If y'all are watching and you have the urge to paint, then go to the art supply store and just get some stuff because it's so much fun. It's like free therapy. It is. And notice how she has not commented on mine. <laughs> okay. But now, I need to get on to my next lesson two the needy student. <laughs> but I don't think, and especially adults, when you're working with children, oh, um, I used to be a children, uh -huh. <laughs> like five minutes ago. Notice when you, um, when your kids, when they bring their Ooh, artwork I home. Oh, I got one. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Our tendency is to say, "Oh, it's so good." <laughs> try not to put judgment on it. I'm trying to try make to up say, for her. Try to say this to Craig, the needy child. Um, I oh. like seeing how hard you work. I like how much you're enjoying it. That kind of thing. That kind of thing. I like your different blues. I do blues. like all the different blues you mix. I like how you're holding two brushes at the same time, like you're Andy. I'm, I'm Andy. Andy Pamby, they called me. Isn't that a cool color? That is totally, <laughs> we are just on it. Okay, now, just for an experiment, yeah. I want you to try to let things bump into each other and see what no. happens. Because you can paint like right that? there. Yeah. God, for get out of here. Now, if you, look at your, if you look at your painting and you feel like all of the marks are getting too um, similar, get, change something up. Get a different brush size. Um, oh, a different brush. Then I got to put it in the water first. Well, you can just leave it in the water if you want to switch I brushes. Okay. And let me get you a... I like to have baby wipes on hand because acrylic paint, if it gets on your clothes and dries, then those are your permanent painting clothes. And I am not oh. responsible. Okay. You have some paint on your hand, but I don't do? Want to get it on okay. Your... See, all my hands. Watch this trick. Baby Good wipes. Job. Oh, I'll take a baby wipe, please. I'll wipe you like a baby. <laughs> okay, now this is not for children, but it's also PG. It is PG. That's me, PG. It's, pr it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Shameless see. plug, Kirby enthusiasm. So I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do pink. I'm going to do, see how many pinks I can make. And notice how you have the tendency to kind of keep the paints from touching, to have space in between. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to, to layer, because acrylics are fabulous like that. You can just paint right over. Did you get a different size brush? I did, smaller. Okay. Next time I want you to go dramatically bigger and see what happens. All right. Um, I think I'm ready for the big one. 
Okay, then see how neutral you can go. I want you to make like almost a blue gray, like if it was just barely blue with a lot of white in it. Okay. She was my inner bully. In an inner, outer, in, in an outer way. way. This is how like Picasso started. You know, I don't, I don't know his story, and I, I should learn it. I don't think I really paid attention, but I love, there's a Far Side cartoon that has, it says little Pablo when he got home from school, and he has a drawing, and the mom has, her eyes are on, like, one, they're on the side of her face, and her mouth is sideways, you know, like how his faces were completely funky. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so Pablo's like, it has his, his piece of art and it has a big F on it. And the mom, who actually has her face completely sideways, goes, I'm going to go meet that art teacher face to face. <laughs> <laughs> and farm sides are way better. Way better. When Very they're not awesome. explained. Okay, so I made this pink. Try also to make it, so see how like restraint is the theme of the month, oh, people. That's hard for me. It really is, but especially with color, because we tend to think, I want blue, I want it to be bright, but sometimes these neutrals, you know what I mean, that are very toned down are actually really beautiful when you get them, like, look at this. Oh, yeah. The subtleties of neutrals is hard to, and just play. Don't, if you catch yourself thinking about how it's going to turn out, then you're not in the moment and you're not <laughs> playing. Ooh. Okay. Do you want to, um, do you want to smile? That looks like a nice sweater. I'll smock her. Would you yeah. like a smock? Um, no, I, I feel good about maybe, my Maybe, yeah, extras. maybe I do want a smock. Yes. Warning, people at home. If you went in doubt, smock it out. Smock it out, baby. Because, you know, okay, that looks like a, a top that you love, and it looks All like... Right, let's go. Looks like it could be expensive. No, this has been... Expensive leisure wear. Though. Is it athleisure? This has just been on many tennis courts. Did you play tennis today? No, I was watching my football team. Who's your football team? My Miami Dolphins, Dolphins playing in Germany. Why are they playing in Germany? We are trying to spread the word, the gospel of football overseas. And it's, That's what they need. <laughs> it's hedonism. We should just keep it here. Oh, did you see Nate on Saturday Night Live? No. I love Nate Bargatze, and he did the funniest skit. Oh, my gosh. It was You got to check it out. I will check it out. So don't be afraid. Also, Craig, look. Don't be afraid to do, like, a big area and then let mm. the paint go right over. See what happens. I, I did not forecast that. Enjoy, you know, experimenting. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Let your peas and carrots crash into each other. I need a I need a thicker um, brush that I don't see here. Can I have like a thick brush? Yeah. Here's my area. You can pick it. Oh well, there's a ton here. Sorry, yeah. I can't right. even see that. You want like this thing? Well, no, no. You want like, more like? Okay. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe. But I also have oh, this, this one. You can use this one. This one. I got a whole other one. selection. Which one? This one. This one is great. This one. ACB, you come up with a lot of things we didn't think about. Well. And thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh oh, look at what I just did. That's a I big just... brush. Okay, so I, I know it um, sounds very kindergarten, but if you mess it up, dress it up. If you, like, you know, just... let it dry and then yeah. come back yeah. and do a really light so color think... over it. Okay. Or yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. use a pencil or scrape some of it off. But also, that's why we're doing these mini on paper, so that you can do several and relax and get in the flow. Yeah. It's not going to necessarily, your favorite one might not be your first one, but it might be. It might be. Notice, um, like I want your thinking to be, I wonder what would happen if, instead of, ooh, I don't know what to paint. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. And if you need inspiration, look around you. You know what I mean? Like, I just looked outside and saw blades of grass. So I'm going to do some shapes that feel like blades of grass. Oh, interesting. Let's just see what happens. And instead of being like, oh, it might not be that good. Is it Because it might not. Is it wrong that I haven't been inspired? I'm just putting it down and just like... And that's where, the great thing about art. There is no right or wrong. There's, the rules go? are, there are no rules, Craig. That is great. 
That should be life itself. And people, you know, think you have to be, you know, it, you, from art school, you can learn how to work with materials, but I think everybody's artistic side is, just comes through you. Think about it this way. You experience the whole world through your senses. Right. What you see, what you smell, what you feel, taste, and touch. Mm -hmm. So then there's processing that happens in your brain, organizing, attaching stories to, you know what I mean, the, the way you love the ocean, you don't like sticking your finger in the stove, this kind of thing. Right. Then output is either you write a song, you say something, you write a poem, or you paint a picture. So nobody in the entire world can paint those three paintings just like Craig. Nobody. Thank goodness. And I think that the difference between a Basquiat and <laughs> me is that he is bold and free and confident and doesn't give a bleep what anybody thinks. So if you can get into that fun zone. Fun zone, yep. The fun zone. Where you're not comparing it with Pilar, which I feel like you still are a little bit. Let's work through that. Well, <laughs> she, she's... She is uh, just out of my league. Because that's when this, the, the surprises happen. Does that make sense? Thousand yeah. percent. I haven't even looked over. I'm just kidding. I think you're doing better not comparing. I am just I he was doing in better. a child. Like, what? <laughs> Another one. Okay, oh, so I just got beer. in my head the idea of a striped straw. So... I'm going to take some white. I've never even heard of a straw straw. Remember those old school straws that were oh, yeah. paper? So then I just kind of translated it. Look, I just put some stripes. Let me see. Let me you know what I mean? Like so, so, too. so good. So sort of let your work, let your whatever you got, look at your paper and pause for a second. Oh. And see what it brings to mind. Like you're trying oh, to bring like snow. Power. Or snow? like snow, or like that to me is a fabulous like tangle of vines. I think that one is done. And anytime you think you're done, put it to the side and let and let it sit for a while. Isn't that cool? And then you can sign it and say you could give it to somebody and say you are my tornado, or oh, yeah. you know I don't know. I think I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot of people's tornado. Okay, as you Tremendous. don't have to, so does anybody else need more paper? So get a bunch of paper if you're having an art party so that everybody can have do-overs and do multiples. Because we're going to be painting for a while. Okay, so you all sort of wrap these up and we're going to move to the collage oh. pieces. Oh, really? Oh, This is just wow. a warm-up exercise. Okay, well, no, we can keep going. No, no, no. I don't want to rush you. No. I also put colored pencils in between you and markers. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when I'm doing monochromatic, I like to throw in a little pop of another color. Well, that's pop worthy. Oh, I did it too. Because, oh, you know, when you do all that, look at, look at your instincts yeah, go. I, I, I kind of copied oh, you, if I'm that. honest. I, just, I, saw, I saw you do it, and I just knocked you off. Draw a peeler now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. It's going to be good. In abstract fashion. One day we'll tell but that sort, story. Also, sort of look at it, like... Relax and look at your piece that you're painting. And give it a second. Like, what do you need? Because if it were an outfit, you know, I might put, you know, some brown boots with this. Let me see. Let me see. Like, it has a lot of color. I might yeah. feel like, okay, I need to tone it down. Or I might need, you know, nothing. I might need to set it aside. Get a new piece of paper. But, like, this one's too pink. I feel like it needs a little. I'm going to give this one a little yellow, too. And if it starts to look like something... Like that to me sort of looking like some flowers, some vines. So I'm going to throw, have fun with it and just know you can't, you cannot mess it up. No. And sometimes like that guy, what's that guy's name that says the happy little accident? You know, the super famous TV painter. What's his name? Bob. Bob Ross. I think he's Bob so Ross. right with looking at it like a happy little accident. I feel like that one needed some green. But I thought we were monochromatic. Well, that's the fun thing about yeah. our Pilar is the rules are there are no rules. So, yeah. psych, okay. you can right. do whatever you want. That was a test. She was giving us instructions to see, see who how, could who go could outside make, the box. Could, yeah. We know those creativity tests. They're, right. they're looking for people to 
totally disregard the rules. No, oh. I'm, I'm so literal. That was my favorite stuff. thing um, about. She's a great improvist. Um. Okay. Wait. I'm gonna get a. Oh, this one went from not liking it to you know now it's growing on me. Stellar. Stellar. I don't know about that, but it doesn't that feel good when it's you can always find something you like about a painting you did, but it. And it might just be that I have fun doing it. Yeah. You yes. Know, that's most likely what they're all going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. So acrylic dries really quickly, but just set them off to the side somewhere. Okay. Oh, also, did I show you the little magnet frames? Did I show you those? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, the magnet ones? That might have been before my well, time. I got these. I got these frames on Amazon, and they're so good looking. Let me see. And you don't have to cut the paper. But also, if you only have big paper, you can cut it down. I ended up kind of liking mine at the end. I love the, I love the color palette. Yeah. All right. Score. Okay. All righty then. Everyone's a winner at Nancy B's paint <laughs> studio. There's so many slogans happening. Oh, we got slogans. We got slogans. Yes, we do. Okay, this, these are the magnet frames that see. I ordered oh, yeah, yeah. on Amazon. And they just... Oh, that is awesome. Okay. You showed them, but I didn't realize they were... So it's really a nice looking frame. So you can pick your favorite painting from your art party, wrap this up, and you've got a holiday gift for somebody that's hard to buy for. You know those people. Yeah. You need my address. And you can sign it on the back. Look. Craig, is, Craig is not hard to buy for. Okay, so next I was thinking we'd make a little tiny collage. Yes. Yay, That's collage. what I was um, okay. hoping you would say. Is, is it Craig? <laughs> no. So here's one that I did. I like to put tarot cards. I like to put little scraps of paper. There's a little piece of fabric. Um, I like to use stencils. So collages are fun because oh, yeah. you can recycle stuff in your house. They're very green. Let me see it again. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, very cool. Very cool. Oh, and yeah. I feel like it kind of adds, it gives your painting a really interesting feel to it when it has. We're putting them to the side. Here, I'll, put them Here, I'll take it and I'll tape yeah. it up there. So I love like, like matchbooks. If you, you know, if you had a, a special date. Look, Craig. Score. The whole world comedy. I know where you got that from. Where we did improv. Yeah. But you could rip that off and you could decoupage yeah. that in. Or like this little Lalabo label when I bought my perfume. Or you could put a little piece of a band aid and say, oh. Hope you feel better. Aww. Depends on who it's for. Oh. Think about who you want to give um, a present to. Sometimes that definitely helps free up your creativity when you think about who you want to give a gift to, because yeah. it's much easier to be like, oh my God, they love blue. They love, yeah. you know, the number eight. Oh, and I have these little teeny um, playing cards. But look how good these are already. Craig, do you have any tape up in the drying? Oh yeah, I guess. Oh, I love, look at all the colors that Craig made I'm using just those colors. three colors. He's known in no, color, not much for color form. mixing circles. He's very well known. <laughs> I have a reference from my first grade teacher um, from last year. Well, some people, the last time they painted was first grade. I mean, Craig, before me, when's the last time you painted? Law school can suck the creativity right out of a human. Yes. So, I think it's, and go really slow when you pull the tape off, or real <laughs> spaz and rip it, like my attorney friend Craig. But that's right. beautiful. I think this is a beautiful piece. It's going to just... Pilar, do you like this look? Who wants that oh, piece? Yeah. We're gonna auction this piece That's off. Okay, I, I want you. What do you to, like about I want it? you to sign it at okay. the bottom. I love the way you use that big neutral oh, and the I way those sign mine. the bright colors. Well, I she figured, didn't ask you to. We'll let them dry first. <laughs> if your art students are mean to one another, just enjoy it and laugh at them. Um, With them. Okay. That's... Who are you gonna give that one to? <clears throat> maybe you. Yes, That's what I was thinking. I love it. <laughs> yes, maybe you. Right I don't mean your, to sound so surprised. Right over your bed. <laughs> but didn't that turn out cool? That turned out really nice. Yeah. This is it, very unlike Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me sign right over here. 
Okay. For the people at home, these two regular non-art pedestrians, look at all these beautiful can we, pieces. Can we have a voting? Yours don't count. We're not going to have a contest that no. does, not, does not lead to freedom of, cre of no, expression. It we want to come back tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Okay. New pieces of paper. Here we go. So this time we're going to do a collage. Collage. Now, I... I've got tons of things in the studio. I've got pieces of fabric back there. I've got, um, so start painting. Why don't you just start putting whatever color you want on your piece. And then you can sort of, I'll gather up some more items. I gotta put mine here so she can't see what I'm painting. So what I'm saying is be really careful pulling the tape off because it'll rip the paper and it's easier to do it from this side. And even paper? though it's artist tape, sometimes it will still rip the paper. So just do it very slowly and start not from the edge. This is, to get started, you want us to... For oh. the people at home, who you, if you want to do a collage, you can use any of these things, and there are probably a couple other. I think you can use Elmer's glue. Basically, glue is paint without pigment. Oh, check that yes. out. It's, now, they have different sheens and different, but isn't that interesting? Yes. So... This is golden regular gel gloss. This is a great thing for decoupaging. I like to use this because I love the Golden Company, obviously. I'm not being sponsored. Oh, look at you. That's a great page. Who's your okay. great page? Mine is your pinkish. Yes, isn't that a great color? Yeah, that's a So good put color. a blob of that on your painting and see. But you can also use Mod Podge and you can use any kind of um, water-based glue. So it depends on what kind of, like this is a gloss finish. I think this doesn't say how the. That's, that's why I like, I like to use golden because they say exactly this is a high gloss. That's a great color right there. Um, I'm serious. Are you are you being a nice? No, I'm serious. Nice kid. Looking over there, it's like I want one. I want that one. So when you decoupage or collage, decoupage means you just basically gluing it in there using this clear stuff. Um. In fact, I need to look up the difference between decoupage and collage because I think collage just means a bunch of different elements, but decoupage is the actual gluing down. So anyway, you want to get a clean brush. You want your, your surface to be dry and you literally just glue it on there and it's kind of fun. It's kind of, oh, like, yeah. it's kind of like kindergarten. But, so I'm going to pull out some... All right, I want to so go back to kindergarten. You know, um, it's my back, my beige background, not quite beige, but. Oh, but what a cool color. It's more of a. So I've got some, sort of. some fabric swatches. I have, oh, I have a deck of, pl of these miniature playing cards. I thought y'all might like to. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you could say, you're my ace of hearts. Oh, yeah. Or let's play strip poker. I've also got, um, now, now, I've also got a oh, card. We're only and... doing one. Should I be doing more than one? Here, will you, do you mind passing me another? Yeah, here you go. Card. Here you go. Thank you. Oops. Got it. Thank you. Got it. Got it. Oh, I've also got stencils that you can mix in. Oh, yes, yeah, stencils. Definitely. You want some stencils? Yes. Okay. Here's sure. some things like an old calendar. Let me see. You could use oh, a yeah. butterfly image. Oh, cool. I, when I'm finished with a deck of tarot cards, if I use one, I keep a stack and I pull one of these out. These are fabulous for Just collaging. Sure. I love things like, you know, tickets. And then I bought these little miniature um, playing cards because I love, I love playing cards. I feel like they evoke so much, such different memories for everybody. If you're a game family. I love decoupaging these in. Um, and you wanted stencils, Pilar. Oh, look at this set of stencils that I got. This is why I think y'all would have so much fun at the art supply store. They have everything. Art supply store is the best okay. place in the world. This is kind of a oh, yeah. mystical stencil. Oh, mystical is cool. I like mystical. I'm gonna put this I over here. Let's see. Water, 
brushes. But so on a beautiful day like today, you can also pack up an art bag and a, one of your little canvas totes, and you can take it to a restaurant okay. and have an art party with cocktails and food and whatever. Yeah. And I usually go like to go off hours, and the waiters don't mind as much. And I will just tell them, we're going to stay here for a couple hours. We're going to take care of you with a massive tip. You know, yeah. sort of pay for the space. Yeah, yeah. But it's such a great, fun way to have. Yeah. Um, I like to do it when I'm traveling. Feels European. Very European. Yeah, Zell and I take a little watercolor kit whenever we're going anywhere and order a bottle of wine and park somewhere with a view out on a deck. Yes. And it's yeah. just a good, That's and then you have some inspiration of what to paint. Yeah. And, Alright, Craig, have you been thinking any of the things I pulled out would be good for you for collage? All of them. No, I have not. I've been trying to fill the... Like okay, you don't have to fill the whole thing. I'm I just like saying, the playing cards. Just I get like, started painting. I like the then... tarot cards. I kind of like that uh, contrast between playing and tarot. One's got spiritual depth and one has evokes play for me. I like it. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a good color. Okay, you don't have to cover the whole thing. You can, can. but you don't have to. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready for some... Uh... So the thing that is, can be fun about um, collaging or decoupaging is the layering. So, like, I painted that over that. This kind of snuck underneath. Let me see. See so what Pilar's doing with her stencils. Oh, yeah. Mm, Do you need a baby wipe or another? It's all right. Let's see. So think about go around your house and look in your junk drawer in your oh, kitchen. Like you might keep the coupon. You might find. But look at all these pieces they've done so far. Everybody in my family is getting a piece of art. Score. Okay, so if anyone at home has any questions, suggestions, ideas for other classes, please include those in the comments. And if you're enjoying this, please subscribe for more. If you have any questions for me and Pilar, <laughs> um, please, please, please ignore. <laughs> or if you want CBD, wait, you can do shameless, yeah. shameless plug your thing. Come well, on. Because it's really a cool yeah. product. If you are a wellness provider and you want to talk about partnering with a wellness product based on hemp. We, we provide products for pain, stress, mood, pets, and sleep. Spasnosity too. Well, that's, that's but our wait, But wait, but can't people directly buy it? They can directly buy it. It's called nativeceuticalsga.com. I bought some and it's very calming. What did I get? It has, it was drops and it really, I found it to be effective. But also, I just wanted to show you all these. These snap frames also work and you can get these like at Michael's or I know they have them on Amazon. This is just a piece of glass with four little clips. Oh yeah. yeah. And these work well also. Use them. They have different sizes. So I try just to get the same size piece of paper as the frame just to make my life easier. But you can also cut the paper down. Oh the stencils are looking cool. Is this you gonna my, uh, Yes, my okay. Blue time? So get a clean brush. Clean brush. Put a little blob of this on your palette okay. and then you just use it just like glue okay and because you guys are my nice volunteers i got each of you one of these acrylic magnet yeah. frames for your favorite painting that you can give away oh, that is very Thank nice you. It keeps right. getting better. Yeah. It's like being on Oprah. So the, <laughs> you get a magnet. You get a magnet. So the right. participants have been bribed. Holy. Official. We did not know. We just thought. They did it just willingly. Just thought we were going to become famous. That's all. They willingly did the art party. That is. Can I glue a match? Now, you could glue a match, but it won't work on this frame. Oh. I don't think, because it'll be too much. That'd be a problem. I'm going to glue it'll it It'll be on too the... much dimension, but you could have it framed some other way. You could have it, if it turns out great. Yes. Okay. Glue, glue a match. Match. Glue away. I might even put a match toward the, the coupon. Do you want to put 
keeps getting better. Do you want a tarot card or do you want me to look for more? Oh, you can also decoupage scraps from other paintings. So remember that painting I caught on fire? No. Oh, crap. Tell us. I got frustrated with the painting and I burned it in the driveway. But these were some of the scraps that didn't burn. So you could cut like a little, you know, section oh, yeah. of this that you like. You could make like a little leaf. Yeah. Um, I like to save. I also have this stencil. Which stencil? Sure. And you can also, at your art party, if you've painted a gift for everybody, you can also make tags for your presents. So you can cut your paper down into a little smaller size and, you know, write, Happy Hanukkah, love, Craig. Or whatever you celebrate. That's right. Diwali, Kwanzaa. Uh, no, James. Even, that's right. Or you can make it like your calling card. That's a fun one. Remember we did that? Mm -hmm. I gave one of those out the other day. Did you? What, did they appreciate it? A lot. That's special. It was in my glove box. And I said, you know, it's time. I'm looking at this. I'm envisioning, you know. It's, like, it's, what does it need? Does it need a pop of bright color? It does it need? Half, it, it needs a half a tarot card. Okay. A slice diagonally. Tarot cards, pick one of those. Tarot. And I put some scissors out for you. Nice. Right. Over there. And I also have, does anybody want scraps of an old painting? I love, sure. Oh, she loves butterflies. Who are you making one for? Who am I making it for? No, I thought Craig said she loves butterflies. No. Oh. oh, no. Because I, I got these mm -hmm. butterflies from some of the things you gave us. They look pretty. I'm going to virtually give one of these. Virtually? To people from my trip. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Craig just got back from Vietnam. I also like to take old paintings that I'm maybe not going to use and cut out pieces from there. I love the, like, the cutout look like of Eric Carle kind of feel. A little fun. You know what I mean? Remember Eric Carl? The grass, the uh, caterpillar. The very hungry caterpillar. Oh, yeah. The way you can see, like, the edges. This totally lowers your blood pressure. It does. Just like looking at the paint, mixing the globs. Well, it's actually a meditation because you are in the present moment. You, If you lose track of time, if you are totally focused on right now, you're actually in an active meditation. That's why I feel so good. Yes. And even just thinking out to the outcome of the painting takes you out of being in the present moment. Yeah. Especially in the future. Do you think most, most professional artists have that mentality? Or they envision like, hey, I'm going to make this. I don't know. Yeah. I do think, I know that a lot of artists that I know get easily, you know, get frustrated. But I feel like the ones that are really joyfully creating are in the present moment. And I feel like you can feel it. Do you know what I'm saying? When you're looking at a painting, I can see when I was uptight and all hyper-focused and, you know, oh, yeah. just all this intensity. I think that, that every piece of art is like a little self-portrait of your state at that moment. Let's see that. Isn't it so much such a like fun a, mess? Like a like a shape of Africa. No, Ooh, no. I love the color combo. Oh it's let me see. Look at came... the lavender, the lilac with that nice neutral. Oh, yeah. That's I like, like it. Liberia over here. Oh, nice. I like this salmon color. Okay, don't get your elbow in the paint if you can help it. Yeah, okay. And then, y'all, if you want, if you're feeling kind of crazy, don't forget the colored pencils. Oh, yeah. Oh, I told you. And I have paint pens. Oh, well, that's can I write a word? <laughs> I can't write a word, right? Can I write a word? What did I say the rules were, Craig? There are no rules. Bingo.
Okay, you can also make um, like homemade stamps. So like oh. this little pill cup, watch this. I'm gonna dip it in some paint. Libre Africa. I don't know how I feel about political art. No, it's just a thing. But, you know, <laughs> the rules are there are no rules. That's right. So, look, Craig, you can take, you can find, if you find something that has a shape that you like. Come on, you can't do that. You can. You <laughs> can. <laughs> this just keeps getting better. Well, that's what I'm saying. It makes you think outside the box. And, I mean, you know, do more fun stuff. I just saw this on, I think on, the, Come on. on the gram. Nobody else ever thought of this. On the gram. The Instagram. I know. That's amazing. I saw this lady did it with a toilet paper roll and she squoze it like this and then put it in some paint and then she made ornaments. She put glitter and it was really kind of, looks like a fun thing to try. Would anybody else like to try it? I'm going with this guy. Okay. I was just drawn to it. Let's see. Just reminds me. But like me. the end, other side of a, an egg carton can have an interesting texture. Oh, yeah. You can you use silverware. Yeah. You can use, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. Ooh, okay, can I see? I love that one. Look at those oh, colors. Oh, that's really nice. Is that for I love the little butterfly? I know. I think she made that for me. I love that one too. Let's see. Also, for the people at home, if you're painting, please email us pictures of your art party, of your setup, of your goofy friends. Not that mine are goofy. Yes, they are. Um and of what you finish, we'd love to see. And then eventually we're going to make a, maybe we'll make a big montage of everybody's artwork from home. A decoupage montage. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Just saying. Oh, you're so good. Just saying. Okay. Isn't that cool? Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah. I like it. She doesn't like it. Took her a while, <laughs> Took her a while to say that. I was Oh my god. That male ego is as fragile as had my a mother said it was. Said, oh yeah. Then that would be, you know. <laughs> but I was art squabbles. Studying she it. Was studying it. I appreciate this. But we are having fun. Absolutely. Let me see. I didn't see the match situation. Is it? Was it on that one? Mm-hmm. It's on oh, wait. fire. Is it gonna? It's not gonna fall, is it? What else could you collage? You could collage in like labels from your favorite crystals. I do have some powdered crystals. Wow. That I've put in paint before, and that's kind of fun. Oh, these were, I'm going to show y'all. I need more glue. Where's the glue? Glue is here. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Lord. Do you like to paint with music or are you? You know, I usually do. Um, I, I do sometimes like to paint in silence. Mm -hmm. Or I listen to a book on tape. Or, um... Music, but I can't play music on a YouTube video because copyright infringement. I had oh. one that had it in the background, which you know, is that a little frustrating? They but still I get called it. you. They still called you on it. Yeah, it was much later. It was funny. They all of a sudden took it down. It's because she's. Famous. I love the salmon color. I love the whole palette over here. Thank you. Thank you. I love that y'all are having fun and not being attached to outcome and being experimental and brave oh yeah because this is very brave it's very brave to do a new thing as an adult most people you know wouldn't try doing something they've never done before so i really appreciate it 
Maybe our improv classes have oh, opened yeah, up our senses. Sure. We all took an improv class together. It was very fun. That was the hardest, scariest thing I've ever done. That was they, terrifying. They crushed it. They were fun. We all, we all learned a lot, I think. For sure did. Okay, I need more stuff. What I'll do you need? A, one, a little ticket. What else? Or... You want a playing card? Sure. You know which one would you like? Um, that to the statement. I wasn't going to introduce these because I didn't think that these kids were advanced enough. <gasps> but oh, no. We're advanced. We're advanced. My collection of paint pens. Mm -hmm. I don't let just anybody use these. So you just have to make sure, for me, if the, that the paint is dry before you use the paint pen because it'll get the nib all dirty. But if you guys would like, I will share my paint pen. Okay. And look at the size of these. Ooh, size Shit. matters. That looks familiar. Now, now. <laughs> I think that might. No, get, I just. I, I remember, that might get edited out. It's from, not going to end up in the. No, from last time we painted. Cutting floor. Just saying, I remember that. I'm going to change your water. Get a little dirty. Yeah, it's getting a little dirty over here. Oh, yeah. It just shows you just you just need to laugh at and with yourself while you're painting and doing anything. That is so true. Because. You, that's you're gonna, not having fun with it, yeah. It's going to evoke childhood, childish, childlike paintbrush whimsy. strokes. That's right, whimsy. I'm just trying not to offend the, the, no. the mature painters at home. My mother could be watching, Craig. Nana! I painted with this the other day. Whoa. Yeah, it was fun. Okay. Y'all have any last things to say to the people at home? Uh, we hope you. Oh, go ahead. Oh, okay, go ahead. I'm Please. not done yet. <laughs> no, yeah. you're painting. We hope you've had a fraction of as much fun as we have because we love our friend, yes. the resident artist, and she just, 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 just has a lot of wealth, a lot of. Oh, I know. Lots to, lot to share, and she just comes by honestly. Thank you, Craig. You're welcome. Total funness. Yes, total funness. I hope the Dolphins won, but I just left the game, and I said this Wait, is... Wait, you came during a football game during your team's game? My team's game. That was really nice. First time they played in Europe. I'm sorry, but I appreciate you very much. But anyway, I hope you have a fabulous art party at home. Yay! Thank you so much for joining us and please subscribe and have a great day.